hacking a website, it can be done. Today, we are just going to be hacking a website to try and manipulate some request to get access to something we're not supposed to get access to. And keep in mind, this is a test site made specifically for pen testing, ethical hacking purposes. Do not do this on websites you're not authorized to do this on because there will be consequences and it is illegal. So with that in mind, let's get to the demo. So we have this login screen right here. Login screen, I don't really know what you would call it. You have to try and guess the code thing to get in, submit, access denied. If you guess it right, you get in. Pretty self-explanatory. So to do this one, usually what I would start doing is if I didn't want to do Burp Suite just yet, I would view the page source and see if there's anything juicy in here. So as you can see, Java shop password protected. You can see here, access denied sound, access granted sound. And then we have the MP3 files for those. Then we have over here, access denied. That is leading me to believe that there is a access granted somewhere over here. Or let's just do control F and find access. Access granted sound. If status dot every equals open access granted sound. And then I guess you get in. So this does lead me to believe we are going to have to open burp suite and manipulate the request header, manipulate it, change it, and then get the response access granted. So let's see. And here we have burp suite. And if you don't know burp suite, it's just like a proxy. So it sits in between your browser and then kind of sends your browser requests through the proxy and like intercepts them in a way, which you'll see in a second. So to use burp suite, we just type burp suite and then it just loads up burp suite tab enter. Then we are just creating a temporary project because it, this is temporary. Use burp defaults and start burp. And burp is open. Burp, AKA burp suite. Target. We will do open browser because burp has its own browser and it's just easier than setting up a manual proxy. So we are going to input the URL, which is what? Copy this, paste it in the burp browser, and we have it loaded in burp suite. So let me expand this just so you can see. You have the base URL, the root URL, one could say request, response, uh, basic like web, things of that nature. So you can see here, we have all of the subdomains, access granted MP3. You can see the request and the response for that one, access denied MP3, access granted, things of that nature, which these correlate to this. So if we just went to this page right here, paste it in, enter, you get, what is it? Access denied sound mp3 file. So that's kind of how that works. So we open backup burp suite. We go here and let's try just submitting a code to see if we get in. Submit, access denied. So now we kind of know how the GUI works, things of that nature. So we turn inter intercept is on, which means the traffic from the web is being proxied through burp for us to analyze and manipulate. So we click submit again, and then here's the request under slash check combination. So here, as you can see, it is very tiny. Um, the status says locked. Um, and if we forward this, it's still going to be locked and you're going to get access denied. But we right click, send to repeater, open up repeater. And what do we do? If status every is open, access granted sound plays, and then you get in is my assumption. So every one of those statuses, these have to equal open. So let's go here and then change all of these to open. So all of these have been changed to open. So we're going to click send. And as you can see here, we have the flag. Because we changed all of these to open, we manipulated the request, changed the status all to open, then sent this manipulated request back through, got the response and got the flag. 
So this would be kind of an example on manipulating internet requests and responses uh, to get different things that you want out of requests and responses, things like that. I don't know. That's my explanation. You can take it or leave it. That was just a little burp suite, a little intro to web application pen testing, if you will. Only do this on things you are authorized to do this on. Again, if you do this on things you're not authorized to do this on, it is illegal and you will have bad consequences. So make sure to like, subscribe, punch all the buttons in the face, and I'll see you in the next one.